Homeless encampments have become a common sight in some major U.S. cities, including San Francisco, Seattle, and Washington, D.C. According to the National Homelessness Law Center, more than 100 jurisdictions ban living out of tents and cars or sleeping in public spaces, but in many cases, you wouldn't know it. With the fact check team, Janae, what are cities doing about this? Well, Eugene, in Portland, Oregon, camping on public property is prohibited, though enforcement has been rare, and the city has spent over $25 million over the last four years cleaning up camps. Now, cities in California have cleared more than a thousand encampments and some are actually moving to ban them completely and in Seattle which has one of the biggest homeless populations there have been at least five large encampments cleared and the city has spent nearly a billion dollars on the issue hmm. over the last decade now, the National Alliance to End Homelessness says that it's been on the rise since 2017 why are we seeing this Courtney there's not a surefire answer here, Eugene, but there are some factors that have definitely played a role. For example, fewer people stayed in shelters from 2020 to 2022, which is likely because of reduced capacity during the pandemic. So the number of unsheltered homeless people rose 6%. Inflation plays a part here too, because surging rent prices were one of the biggest drivers of the consumer price index increase, according to data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. And we can't forget mental illness and drug addiction, but experts do say that those are less significant. Yeah, and the Biden administration last year laid out a goal to decrease homelessness 25% by 2025 and just recently announced how it's partnering with local governments uh, to make some resources available. We'll stay top of, on top of developments on that front. Uh, up next, the fact check team is looking to cities experiencing a migrant influx and whether that plays a role in the homelessness crisis.